Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Bully. I am joined together in hands. There, grab my hand. Um, with the one, the beautiful, Miss Ella. Educated. Educated. You know, the whole, whole know, nine yards. Degree. If you're gather. wondering if I have it, I do. <laughs> if you're wondering if I have it, I do. <laughs> All right. So, uh, one thing I want to that. address real quick. I'm sorry about not uploading a bully video last week. It was probably my fault, but I honestly don't remember. Um, yeah, we can roll with that. No, no, no. It was your fault because I was here that week. No, you just blamed yourself. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, you didn't. He forgot. <laughs> what? Hmm? What did I forget? To record last weekend. I didn't re forget. You left on the recording day. No. Uh, you knew I was going to leave earlier, but... Whatever, it was both of our faults. Alright, Stronghold Assault. I freaking hate this guy. Because you're weird. Whoa, where's this confidence boost? Um. Oh yeah, that's true. Jimmy did do a lot for this guy. He said we're above helping people like you. Okay. You can't even zip up your pants. I don't understand where his attitude is coming from. I don't think there's anyone else in this game that Ella hates more than Algy. There isn't. Maybe I'm just getting extra feisty because we haven't seen Agnes in a while. Probably. Because we never go to class. No. She's in a physics class. We're um, we're kind of over the whole school thing, you know. We're too cool for school now. Mm. I. Oh wait, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Watched food TikToks to get hyped to record, and now all I can think about is pizza. Do I, do I just beat these guys up? Um, no. You're supposed to talk to them and ask where Ernest is. Oh. Tell me where your fearless leader is. Are we supposed to follow him? Uh, I don't are they think trying so. to fight us? They're like, oh, you don't get to know where he is. And does this like pepper spray? It's spray paint. Oh, that was a lot easier than I was thinking it was going <laughs> to take. Side alley by the library. Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's like right around the corner. It's marked with the X. Yeah, I, I realized that, but like I didn't realize. I had to look at the whole map. Uh, one, one, three, eight. Oh, cool. I, I know, I thought we'd have to that. memorize it. Dude. Oh, that's there are why. There's so many cool areas oh. in this game. Like, how do they fit so much in this map? Yeah, the uh, running a skateboard is not going to work. I know, right? Like, I don't ever remember doing any of this. But at the same time, I mean... That kid over there just crouched like mm -hmm. he was not okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't even need to fight them. We just have to get past them. Yeah. Well, this feels like cheating. I mean, there's a lot of games that are like this. Like, they put yeah. these out there to make it look like you have to, but... Or if you want to earn extra, like, points and things. Yeah, see, like, watch. No, it's not even going to matter. What? what on earth is this place? There's a planetarium, I think. Yeah, it's a planetarium a guarded by a turret. A what? Oh, uh, I gotta destroy the transformers. Because, you know, the robots in disguise. Place. Did we just say the same thing? No. You're just not listening to me. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god. You just. Whoo! Oh man. You gotta run through all that again? Oh my god. Oh, you're at the nurse's office. I was at the nurse's office. Alright, well, um, let's, let's try that again. This time maybe we should fight all the nerds. No, why would you do that? What's all the right. point? Alright, alright. Can I skip this? Can I skip it? Why would you fight all of them? 
Man, they really, I don't like how they brought us way, way back. Yeah. To the beginning. There's like no checkpoint. Don't tell him I told you. I didn't even know these like were here. Like is it, it is one, that a ruler? One, one one three eight. Yep, that's a tape measure. Oh. Mm. And we're running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running. It's so easy to knock out. I wonder what's for dinner. I didn't ask. Um, I don't know. I said I'd probably be here. Wait, wait, Ella, you said you had some things you wanted to talk about. I was going to tell the crazy story that my coworker told me. Oh. Without names. But I don't know. Do they know that this my channel exists? No. <laughs> they're old. Not old, but you know. They're not exactly watching YouTube. Right. In their free time. But basically, do I really want to get into it? Um, my coworkers do this thing where they just tell me their life stories and all their life's problems for some reason. And I don't understand why because I'm like 24 and they're all in their late 50s. So I don't know what advice they think I have to offer, what wisdom I can share. I don't really get it. But my coworker came and she was telling me about her granddaughter. And then I said, oh, well, how does your husband feel out about all of this? And she looked me dead in my eye and she just looked at me for a really long time. And then she, I was like, OK, well, uh, you don't have to tell me. Like, I, I, I understand if I didn't mean to ask something like that. And then she goes, a lot is happening or what I don't know what she said but then she sat down and when she sat down I knew I was like oh god she's not gonna leave here for a while and I'm about to hear everything and apparently on that Tuesday her husband calls her at work on the work phone not the cell phone so she can't get up and walk away or yell or cry or whatever she wanted to do she couldn't react so he calls her crying and he's like I lost my job three weeks ago. I've been pretending to go to work this whole time. And I'm not, I'm just ain't shit and whatever. And I'm boarding a plane right now and I'm, I'm leaving. He's running away. And then he hangs up. And she's at work. She can't react. She can't do anything. You know, she doesn't want anyone to know. But like her husband, after like 20 years, literally just ran away. Um... And she came on my desk to tell me all of this. She cried a couple times. I gave her a hug. Uh, she, because it, it's not just like, oh, I'm heartbroken. Like, my husband just left me. It's also like, oh, I have the mortgage and car payment and all sorts of things to pay. And I didn't even know I wasn't going to have his income. Her income is not enough to cover it all. It's just a whole mess. And she, like, dropped all of that on me. And then she asked me, oh, hello, what time is it? And I said the time. And she goes, oh, it's time for me to clock out. And she just walks away. Just walks out of my life after dropping emotional bombs. And now I'm like, I can't breathe. And I don't get to leave work for another hour. And I, like, stressed about her. Probably, I'm probably still stressing about her. Um, but then the next day, because when she sat down and told me all that stuff, she was like, you're the only one who knows this. And I'm like, oh, great. So now that's a lot of pressure. And then um, the next day she was telling this other girl. I could tell because they were like sp -sp 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 in her um, cubicle. And I was like, oh, okay. So she's telling someone else. So I don't know. But if you ever, <laughs> <laughs> if you ever run away, like that's just such a shitty thing to do. Like grow up, like. He, he kept saying, like, oh, I need to be a man and since I can't be a provider. And I'm pretty sure he just was looking for an excuse to run away. He was probably just telling her that. But I feel like no one just, like, does that. I don't know. Yeah. But he was saying, like, oh, you know, I got to be a man. Like, okay, if you're not providing financially, being a man isn't then running away. Like, because uh, now either way, now she has to deal with everything alone. 
It just doesn't make sense to me. Well, yeah, no, it just, and it's sad because it's like, okay, you lost your job. All right, if you would have told me about this, yeah, then we could have figured something out yeah. and got you another job to the point where or we can. talked or so, like, you didn't have to feel so overwhelmed because she could have, like. Yeah, it been could have been, like, him. a helpful, it could have been healthy. Could that have was... been, like, a growing experience. Exactly. No, he was just like, ooh, I'm not a man anymore, and he runs away. Yeah. It's pathetic. I don't know. I don't know either. And now I just don't trust. And now I'm looking at everybody. I look at my mom. I'm looking at Tyler. And I'm like, you guys are going to just fly away tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, she literally is like, please don't leave me. Because the nerve of some people. At least give a warning. That sucks. Yeah. Isn't this the... Wait, real quick. We're going back to the game. Yeah. This is the kid that we helped become president, right? Maybe. Why does he have Hitler flags? Oh, okay, anyway. Yeah, this game is really saying some things. Um, I think so. Yeah, these nerds were like the first people we helped, and now they all have an attitude with us. Now that we're asking for something, and it's yeah. like, come on now. Oh, but I was so I was talking to your your family about that earlier. I was telling them that story, and they just started naming all these different people that had like double lives and ran away from their families Wait, and all what? this stuff and i'm like how common is this and then i'm really looking at you twice like how many lives do you Wait, have what i never knew about this or any anyone that like was related to I my don't family remember the names that they said but it was just people that they knew it wasn't like your uncle or anything it wasn't like anybody super close to you but it was just like you know like oh you hear through the the grapevine that Susie over lives on Pine Street or whatever. Her husband had a whole other life and yeah, there was one guy who was a fireman and I guess he would just say he was working overnights, but really he was spending one day with one family, one day with the other, and then one day at the firehouse. Oh. Yeah, what the fuck? How do people how do people have the energy and the mental to to have two families? And then you know, people will, like, your mom will, like, shout the wrong name at you. You know what I mean? Like, if yeah. you mix up your kids' names, what if I'm with you, and I'm like, oh, Steven, I mean, uh, Ty, I mean, uh, you know what I mean? Like, how do they not mix up names sometimes? Yeah. Um. <laughs> who's Steven? <laughs> hmm. We'll talk later. Uh oh. We friends work together. I Are think I just friends? got like a plasma launcher. All right. Spud gun. Oh, guys. What is this scrap mechanic? I made one of these in physics class in high school. We made potato guns. I legit have a gun now. I mean, mm, it shoots potato. They hurt, but it's not like a bullet. Yeah. All right, cool. So I don't know. It's hard to trust anybody these days. But they were also talking about how back then it was like the 80s or something like you know it was harder to get away or it, it was, was easier, easier to get, to get away yeah it was with. easier to get away with stuff like, like that. like i love listening to true crime now or like set way back when because it's like nobody like before dna people couldn't prove anything it's crazy and then nowadays it's like oh you have my location or i have your yeah. location and it's like, well, like I, I track ella yeah it's really creepy i don't know why he does <laughs> i mean she tracks me too like but like i mean Back when she used to do DoorDash, yeah, it was like I one of the things like I made something. her download because it was like a just in case kind of thing. Oh, I actually hit the wire. Um, wait, real quick, talk. No. Hello, did I unplug it? Okay, no, no, you're good. Oh God, wait, what's going on? Am I playing basketball? Wrestling. Oh my God, are we? Oh. oh no, this is dodgeball. Oh. Oh, are we in class? Okay. Can we talk about how good uh, I was at dodgeball in school? Not because I'm good at throwing the ball, but oh, because I'm I can Oh, I'm controlling multiple people. Oh, that's like in, what is it called? <laughs> um, is it, what is it that everybody plays? Like 2K, what is it called? That's the part that gets the most confusing for me is like you're playing as every single teammate pretty much. And you have to hop between them. Yeah. My brain doesn't work like that. It's like when I try to learn how to play piano and you have to play one thing on one hand and one thing on the other. 
my brain doesn't work like that. I can't do two different tempos at the same time. Yeah. Oh, we won. With one point? That's how we win? Oh, no, 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 no. We knock everyone off. Oh. And then... Look at that. I guess, like, one round. We won one round. Pass. Oh. Wow, that. they really suck at this. I didn't know you could have your teammate on both sides. Yeah, th this dodgeball is very weird. I didn't realize that there was, like, an outer boundary. We have to watch the movie Dodgeball. Oh, I love that oh movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> it used to watch it on every road trip with my cousins. <laughs> Good times. Oh, I got the... Another place to live. Oh, my God. This one's nice. Yeah. Why is it right behind the football thing, though? Oh, it's because it's the storage locker. Oh, whatever. We've lived that's, it worse. That's funny. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, wait. Let's actually go there. Why is this jock chasing me? I don't know. They just gave us their freaking home, and now they're hating on us. That's because we beat them. It was a oh, bet. Pathetic. I don't, I don't really know if it was a bet. Oh, yeah. It's, like, right on campus, too. Convenient. As if we would ever go to class. Oh, you didn't pick up all of those... Oh, this is me. Probably sweaty and we still and have the same awful. bed. Ooh. That's funny. I'm just thinking about how this place Wait. smells. Let's save it. Okay. We're in chapter four. Yep, we got two left. I spoiled yeah. it. All right. Next time on Sinistray Plays. Hopefully, we see Agnes. I uh, hope we know. Is that her name? I really feel like I might be messing it up. Phyllis? Agnes. No. How can I forget my true love's name? I have to Google it. Alright, but next time we'll see you guys later. Bye. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, what's your favorite part? Um. He's oh, God, I gotta go. Bye-bye.